I want to say I'm grateful for this chance to speak my piece. I offer my sincerest apologies to the Graber family, but I know my words will never be enough. I've had time to think on what to say, and I'm sorry, truly sorry. What I've taken can never be replaced. Every day I wish I could go back and stop myself, prevent this loss and this pain that I've caused everyone. Everyone in the community and outside of it, those closest to me and those closest to the Graper family as well as the Graper family. I didn't know how taking Ms. Graper's life would affect you. I can't comprehend losing a loved one in such an awful way. I'm sorry I didn't stop this from happening in the first place. And I'm understanding now that Ms. Graber meant so much to so many people. She was a support to the community and those close to her And she was a caregiver to her family, to her children, and to her own husband. I'm so sorry. To Mrs. Graber's friends and the members of her church, I'm truly sorry for what I've taken from you. I never stopped to consider the community. And to everyone at Fairfield High School who felt unsafe, those who were scared, those who lost hope, I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry how my actions have affected you. I owe an apology to all my friends. I'm sorry for the stigma placed on you just for having known me. Zach, Habib, Zoe, and John, I didn't care. I didn't even know what this had done to you. And I'm sorry. And Dad, <laughs> I'm sorry that I let you down in so many ways. <laughs> Jackie and Sophia, you've given so much to me. I'm supposed to be helping you and Dominic right now, Jackie, but I can't. Instead, I've caused so much stress and so much loss and so much grief. And to all of my siblings, I took your little brother. And Dad, I took your son from you. Two years ago, I made the worst decision of my life and I take full responsibility for what I did. And today, as a young man, I can begin to pay for that. I can never give back what I've taken. But I hope that this situation doesn't end as tragically as it began, and that someday something positive can come from this tragedy. <laughs> I know that my words will never be enough, but to Miss Graber and all her family, I'm truly sorry. <laughs>